Hello, I'm Jasmine Haynes Coleman, Mrs. Arizona International 2018. My platform is to defend the innocence. Defend Innocence is about raising awareness for child sexual abuse. One in four girls and one in six boys are sexually abused before the age of 18. 90% know their abuser, such as relatives, friends, coaches, teachers, and most will never talk about it. It is time to break the silence of this widespread problem. Um, and I think it changes um, re- the child by having an actual healthy relationship with a person, another person, even if it's not a, a relationship or a sexual relationship. I'm talking about an individual and a working relationship, a father-daughter relationship, a mother and daughter relationship, or even son. Son, and it, it really changes a child's perspective of how to trust an individual again. It really does. Yeah, well, considering also we've had these male on male sometimes and probably most infrequently once in a great while, I guess, female on female. But unfortunately, because males are so, you know, sexually motivated to begin with, Mm -hmm. uh, they often will also abuse other males, other young boys and stuff. And and we've had we've had quite a bit of that in this society. Mm -hmm. We've heard about the priests. You know, that's the whole high profile. But we also know that that goes on in people that never reported boys who would never admit to being abused yeah, because yeah. that would be really hard for boys to admit it as well. Really, really hard. And that's, that's a really important thing. Yeah. yeah. One thing that, um, one thing that happens is that it's something that's never talked about. So Absolutely. you go through and you get sexually abused, you stay quiet. And that's one of the problems that is widespread about this, you know, about this situation is that it goes without anybody saying anything so um like me personally it took me maybe it took me about 20 almost 30 years because i was actually a victim myself it took me almost that about 30 years to actually tell my mother about what happened to me and my personal experience and how it affected me so it is something that it just does not get talked about and that's why i'm very passionate about this cause because it's just time to break the silence it's time to raise awareness and speak about what happens. Let children know, let even adults know that they do not have to be afraid. They don't have to hold this personal. They don't have to go through, you know, the effects that it's caused them mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. They do not have to suffer that alone. And there's other people that are helped support. Perhaps also it it could help you understand that most of touching by adults to children is is good and wonderful thing and it's not something that has to be feared and yet i imagine that having experienced the abuse you probably do fear it and you know or did i yeah i did at one point and um until i was able to actually talk about it and identify with certain things i did have you know issues trusting people in general because again you know close family close Close people to your family. It's mm-hmm. again. It's not. You know, I wasn't kidnapped. Or there was no stranger danger. Right. It was, you know, right. something. It was just somebody that you would normally trust. Well, right. you know, I'm not. I'm not a big hugger, right? And a lot of people are. And but I have found that hugging really is a very therapeutic thing, and and creates a bond that you can't create in any other way. So though I'm not actually prone to it, I I got what I have some people that wonderful people who feel close to me that like to hug me and whenever they do it i just love to hug them back because it does feel good mm-hmm. and it's just that uh you know sometimes you know you you get afraid of especially if it's a younger person mm-hmm. and i've you know i had like a stepdaughter or kind of like a stepdaughter and she she liked to be hugged because she didn't get those hugs you know as far as i could tell she didn't mm-hmm. get any kind of attention and so it was it was a, a thrilling experience although i was you know i was real I was real discreet about it and everything because I didn't want to put her in a place where I didn't want to give anybody any occasion to say anything. Right. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to deny her that, and I don't want to deny my grandson. I love to hug my grandson, and and when I see them and I get to see them, I hug them, and I think that's that's a that's an important thing. And I and it's it's a shame if if people are so traumatized and untrusting because of abuse mm-hmm. that they don't get to participate in that real human interconnection. So I just kind of curious on that note, I kind of want to know, like, 
what do we need to do as a community and also as KFNX and how to get you to get this organization out and um, really do a fundraise on it and get it onto an international level? Because I think we need to make sure that that's separated between just having a hug to feel good because it is is very – you need that. Everybody needs that. But also – um, really put an awareness of watching your children and talking to your children and on behaviors. Well, um, on an international level, um, I am going to Charleston, West Virginia to run for the Arizona inter- for the international pageant. And so your support in that and also your vote, um, for, for me. Mm-hmm. Right. And, at the um Mrs. Arizona Mrs. International dot com mm-hmm. under contestants, you can see Jasmine there and she if you click on her photograph, you'll see um her answer to some questions and about her platform and you can vote for her there, uh, for the people's choice. And also just coming to the fundraisers that we've had planned uh to help her get to West Virginia to to help pay for those expenses because when she gets there She's going to meet 64 to 72 women from all over the world who are leaders in their community and passionate about what they do. So if we get her there and she meets those ladies and she becomes friends with those ladies and has an experience with them, those are connections that she can use to help her spread the word about her, the organization that she support, she supports, as well as they can reach out to her and say, hey, we want to get this information out in Arizona. So that's the beauty of participating on an international level. Yeah, that, that's definitely And that's definitely the beauty the of the Internet as well because right. you can yes. c- connect right in there with right. that. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. We're, yeah, we're having some fundraisers, if I, if I may. Too. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so um, next weekend we're having a fundraiser at Smoothie Run, which is on 51st Avenue and Baseline. Uh, if you go there and you mention Arizona International Pageants, they're going to donate 15% of the proceeds of their sales that day to our program. Um, also, um, Zoyo on 51st Avenue and Baseline. Um, on July 10th, they're also going to donate 20% of their uh, proceeds of that day to Arizona International Pageants. And finally, Buffalo Wild Wings of Gilbert on July 11th from 5 to 9, uh, we're having a silent auction and also... Uh, getting as many people there as possible so that uh, they can donate 15% of those proceeds to help us get to the international pageant in July. Nice. Thank you. So those, those are, um, we're going to repeat those here in, in, after right. we go, after we, when we come back from the break and talk about uh, the appearances you're going to make and, and, uh, and get those addresses and names down to where people can go in and, and, and do that. And, um, and when we come back, when we come back from the break, uh, I'm going to try to get in one lost story that I have for y'all. And, um, of course I'm going to, ha- I'm going to have my reading list that I'm going to, I'm going to give to you. And that reading list is going to be posted on the, on the videos that's going to come out on YouTube and stuff, right, Sarah? Yes. And we're going to have those appearances that you're going to be making. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll have those posted up on on the YouTube video, right? Yep. We'll have those written out there, so if you don't happen, you happen to hear it, and or you're not listening to the show right now, you can uh, you you'll see that there. And uh, the um, the reading list that I have are short stories, like I've always said before. We who has the time for a long involved novels? We'll read a short story, and I would never recommend a short story that wasn't life changing, as far as I'm concerned. So we'll be right back, and we'll wrap up the show. What does hope mean to you? Is it taking that extra step or just standing up? Is it running that extra mile or just walking down the stairs? Everyone defines hope differently, but at Surgenix, we want you to ask for more. We're giving hope back to patients by pioneering the next generation of medicine. Leveraging unprecedented quality, safety, and value, our products represent our vision that treatment can be different that it can rekindle hope. Every member of our staff is dedicated to the vision that hope can be more than a dream for tomorrow, but with passion and commitment can be something we can pioneer today. Welcome to Surgenix, where hope isn't a concept, it's a reality. Welcome back 
a need to read. And we're going to continue on with the show. I want to remind you that we're sponsored by Surgenics, a supplier of stem cell serum, and uh, Dr. Sabeti at Interactive Medical Solutions. And they'll be on next week as well. And uh, I want to, before we continue on talking with Jasmine and and about the appearances that they're going to be making that they're going to be making here shortly in the uh, international pageants and the fundraisers, uh, I I want to do my four suggested reading. And once again, they're short stories, so they can be read relatively short, quickly. You don't have to. And unfortunately, these are not available usually on audio. But I do love audio books, and almost uh, your most famous books can be found on audio. And I encourage you to to use the audio so uh, audio books so that you can uh, indul- uh, participate in these great stories. Now, the first short story that I'm recommending is by a gentleman named Liam Liam O'Flattery. His uh, O'Flattery, and his story is called The Fairy Goose. And the second one that I want to it recommend is by Jack London, the famous Jack London, and his and it's a short story called Moonface. And the third one is by J. D. Salinger, and it's called The Laughing Man. And the last one is by Damon Knight, a sci-fi writer, called The Handler. In other words, someone who handles a ha- the handler, a person who controls. The Handler by Damon Knight, those four stories, and they'll be posted up on the YouTube video so you can see them in print and be reminded and, 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 and read them. And those stories will give you a perspective in life that will make you laugh, make you ponder, and make you consider things that you haven't considered before. And with that, I'd like to go back to Sarah and, and Jasmine and Monique, and we have, we're going to be talking about your appearances coming up to raise awareness and money. For the show, I mean, for the uh, for the pageant mm-hmm. and for uh, the children uh, and for um, Red for Women, Go Red for Women, and other projects that, um, that, yeah. that you guys could probably explain better than me. So I'll let you do it. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> we have a, the first order of business is we're going to have some fundraisers to help get Jasmine and the other uh, queen uh, contestants to the international pageant where they can w- meet women from all over the world and yes. share their platforms and hopefully um, develop friendships that will last a lifetime Mm -hmm. Um, and will also help them reach out all over the world to um, to raise awareness on the issues that they're passionate about. Um, We also plan on having a a lip sync battle later on in the fall and also a fashion show. So, but uh, coming up, yes, coming up and, and hopefully we can let you know about that and you can announce it on the radio in the fall. Um, but coming up in July, on July 8th, um, we're going to have a fundraiser at Smoothie Run at 6115 South 51st Avenue from 12 to 3. And they're going to donate uh, 15% of their proceeds to our program. Um, so go there and order a smoothie if you can. And that's what it is, a smoothie. Uh, on July 8th, yes. they have sandwiches too. Sandwiches too. Um, they also sponsored a pageant and they provided the food and it was awesome. Awesome. Really? Um, Good yeah. food? Yes. Okay. July 10th and July 12th at Zoyo at 5185 West Baseline Road, number 106. Um, they have delicious, healthy frozen yogurt, and they're going to donate 15% of the proceeds on those days to our program. And finally, um, Buffalo Wild Wings on July 11th, we're going to have um, a silent auction, and also they have agreed and and off and and generously agreed to provide a, a gift basket for the silent auction and also to give us fifteen percent of the proceeds from uh, their sales that day and that's at nine seven zero South Gilbert Road in Gilbert Arizona so we're going on tour to try to raise yeah, money. Yeah, you sound pretty busy <laughs> yeah. right now. Very I was going to say, you sound really busy. What are Traveling. they going to auction off? Well, we have some special prizes. We're going to have different baskets. We're going to have gift gift baskets. We may have some sports paraphernalia that people oh, yeah. might like. And so we hope that um, you'll come out and join, enjoy some wings and, and support us. And you're going to definitely sure. post those, those appearances on, yeah, on the YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. So, I will. <clears throat> yeah. Because, absolutely. So it'll be up there. It'll be up there Monday or Tuesday. Um, it'll probably be up there on, uh, probably Tuesday. We'll have everything, um, up there and it'll be on our Facebook. It's going to be on YouTube channel. Awesome. It's going to be you. on our Twitter. Thank you um, and it's also going to be on our Instagram. So we're very social media oriented, if you can tell. Um, <laughs> so you can always find Find us. Um, it's going to be an MM uh, Radio uh, Network online. On MM? St- MM Radio Network. 
And that's going to be your uh, the Facebook page, um, the YouTube channel, uh, the Twitter, and also the Instagram. And you're going to find all of um, all what we've talked about um, for this past hour is going to be on there. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, I, 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 I don't you. mind. Don't mind at all. And, you know, I, I really, I am very supportive about doing this. And I do always recommend, um, you know, you should, I since you guys are a pageant and an organization, you should try to go to the um, uh, the city gala. Yeah. Um, the city gala is a very big organization that supports other organizations as a nonprofit organization that supports them around the world. And these are going to be, um, a lot of your, um, uh, businessmen, uh, businesswomen. Uh, you're going to have people that are founders of the make a wish foundation is going to be there. It could be, um, you know, it, it, you know, it depends on what celebrity is going to be there that, that, um, on that session, but you should definitely join them, um, and be part of them. Um, and you definitely want to look that up and you can, um, they're great people and they're all going to be supportive with you. Oh, so, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. You're welcome. So what I've been, um, I've been wondering here is, is, um, is how, how you said you got, you got involved with this on Facebook or, uh, Jasmine? You, how, you, how you came to, to I forget, how, remind me again how you got involved with the international pageants. I got involved with the international pageants um, first from Monique. Um, she is the one who approached my daughter about being in international okay, that's pageants. Right. And so my daughter ran in 2017 for Miss Teen Arizona. Did an awesome job. And, and where, did, where did you meet her daughter? Is um, at church. We go to church together, New Destiny Christian oh, Church okay. on 27th yes. Avenue and Baseline in Levine. 27th <laughs> Avenue and Baseline. Right. It's a non-denominational church. And um, she sings in um, the praise and worship group there. Judah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I watched her and her daughter, and they're just beautiful women. Well, you know, this is not an overtly religious show. Uh-huh. And in fact, I've been advised by various different people not to bring religion into the into the show. But I, I cannot I cannot help myself, and I always bring it in. I've declared many times in this show <laughs> yeah. that truth is really the great the greatest pursuit. Uh-huh. And you know, there's a lot of religions in the world, and there's a lot of uh, denominations of Christians. Right. And you say you're non-denominational, right? Mm-hmm. But that's only because what you mean by that is that you're not associated with an organization. Of Christians. Well, we're associated with an organization of Christians, but we just we, like the Baptists or the Presbyterians right. or something. But but you are you are denominational because you because the word denomination means is kind of uh, it means dogma. Right, right. It, it does. It means it means a doctrine. Right. So our so your doctrine is Christianity. Well, it's the Bible. It's so the Bible. We're, okay. we just say we're basing what we do on the Bible, the Word of God, and not any other tradition uh, or anything like that. So yeah, yeah and, I, and, I, and I want to want to remind you and, and 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 all the listeners and all the viewers as well that one of the things, most important things about the Bible is that it's not open to our own personal interpretations or even our t- interpretations because we think we've studied and gone the history and we, and we traced the original Greek and the original Hebrew. But in fact, according to the Bible itself, it is the, the understanding of the Bible can only be revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's and what that, we believe. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And, and that is, is a, is a very important thing to, to, to consider. And, so I'm really I'm really glad to hear that, and that's 27th Avenue and Baseline in Baseline and in Levine, Arizona. In right. Levine, right? We used to be the only building out there. Now they have churches. And, yeah, well, and, there used to be there used to be a lot of bare land out there. Yeah, yeah. 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 so we have a lot New Destiny Christian Church. Yeah, and New Destiny Christian Church. New Destiny Christian Church, and I encourage everyone to go to that church or some other church and worship and give. Give credence and give adoration to God who has given us the opportunities for life and has given us personally as Americans to live in a country where we actually have freedom, where so much of the world is under the jackboot of tyranny. And I, I want to encourage everyone to teach your children, whether they're yours or people that are children that are just in your orbit, to read and master those skills of reading so that you can decipher truth from fiction, fact yeah. from myth. That's and right. and That's pursue right. the truth and the goodness of God mm-hmm. throughout your life and to give that to other people that you meet. One of the most important things to do is to read for fun, profit, understanding, and the development of habitual critical thinking. And we'll be here next week 
with Sir Janix and maybe some other guests. And Jasmine and Monique are invited to come back anytime. And we'll probably be able to schedule that with Sarah at some point. So- 